What does no one look good wearing? Fedora with safari flaps, even if the guy at the store says you're the only guy he's ever seen pull it off. Political hats. A shirt that says FBI female body inspector. Dimitri Martin explained it well I saw a guy wearing a leather jacket and thought, that is cool. Then I saw a guy in a leather vest and thought that is not cool. And that's when I realized that cool is all about leather sleeves. Skin-colored leggings. It always gives me a WTH moment before I realize what is happening. Neckbeard. Those Walmart t-shirts with gangster Looney Tunes characters. Like Taz with a Rolex rolling dice and flashing cash. Bonus points if the shirt sparkles. Hospital gown. Shower caps. That ugly cape you have to wear when getting your hair cut. A white robe and pointy white hat. Those guys look like fucking assholes. That one Dwayne Johnson outfit. A girl can't even wear a turtleneck and jeans with a cute necklace unless she wants to feel like the MF rock. Ankle monitor. Clown shoes. Those shirts that say I oil my AR-15 with liberal tears and if I charge, follow me. If I retreat, kill me. If I die, avenge me. Sir, you're in target. Relax. Affliction T-shirts. Any T-shirt claiming your birth month gives you special powers or you are owned by your significant other. So goddamn tacky. Ketchup stains. You know that black short sleeve T-shirt that's just a print of the front of a tuxedo? Kanye's massive Wellington boots. Also the Yeezy NSLTD boots. 2 liters of cologne. Anything with a weed leaf on it. Buckle fat removal. Removing fat from cheeks. You just look emaciated and old. Scuba gear, especially the goggles. Even the most beautiful person is going to look like a constipated duck. KKK regalia. Rat tail hairstyle. Gigantic fake eyelashes. Women are running around looking like Furby dolls. Pants below your under breeches. Beige leggings. The lime green speedo with suspenders from Borat. I doubt even Brad Pitt, with his fight club body, could make that work. Fake tans that make you look orange. I'm just reading through these with the harsh realization that I desperately need a wardrobe change. But I like my sweatpants and Birkenstocks with socks a little too much. Anything with tap out written on it, or supreme. Might as well say. I didn't finish high school and beat my girlfriend. Clothes that are too small. Confederate flag shirts. Those fucking hiking shoes with the individual toes. Also Crocs. A Lost Profits t-shirt. Ed Hardy clothes. Flesh-colored spandex pants OMG are they awful. Sweatpants that say juicy on the backside. Gaucho pants from 2005-2007 fashion. Injected lips. Hitler mustache, people before him had it accessible regardless of poor taste. Those giant fake claw nails. Peep toe boots. The skin of another human being. Any political swag. Sweater vest without any shirt underneath. I went to undergrad with guy that would routinely wear a sweater vest, no shirt underneath, cargo shorts with Timberland boots. Those shoes that fit your individual toes. Hospital PPE. Especially the yellow contact precaution gowns when tied around the waist. Clothes that are too small tight. Don't buy a small size just because you refuse to admit you need a larger one. It makes you look fatter than you are. 
buying that bigger size will actually make you look a lot less fat than you might think you are for needing that size. A swastika. Chayetta print train conductor hat. Tanner, that makes people look orange. Mega hat. Drawn on eyebrows. Stupid eyelashes that look like a moth is trapped in your eye. Clothing a size too small. Rental bowling shoes. Shutter shades. A trilby. A fedora can be done well, just take a look at Harrison Ford for that, but I've yet to see anyone look good in a trilby. Sagging pants below their ass. Fucking lame. Broccoli hair cut. I'm not fond of peplum. There was a time when everything was peplum and everyone had little flared skirty fabric around their middles. Insecurity. Skin-tight nude leggings without something over it and animal print. The shoes that are like foot gloves. Those drop crotch jeans. Or the ones kind of cut like jodhpurs. I have no idea why the fully nappy look would be desirable but it looks literally and figuratively like shit and suits no one. I'm also not a fan of ultra-ripped distressed jeans. They always look contrived and unflattering. Rip knees maybe but something that looks like it was cut up by an edgy teen now. Nah. Blush on the tip of the nose. Why? Turns an inoffensive makeup look into raggedy and cosplay. Bicycle shorts. Like real ones, almost to the knee with the padded crotch butt. Suits where the bottom stop just above the ankles, coupled with low-heeled slip-on shoes. Your hair combed over to the other side to cover a balding spot. Bull ring in your nose. An orange jumpsuit. Wide legged cropped pants, so unflattering for every body type. Colorful camo pants. Crocs. Yeezys. Mankini. Socks with sandals.